rent to child uh, div divya that is different madam so what is our requirement i have a list of contacts okay. correct so please listen everyone this is very important list of contacts i have so that is the parent to child is very easy madam just you can put directly yeah i did uh, child to parent also same okay but it's... in different way i'll show you madam we'll see a set id comma name comma account id from contact so i need to in the interview they will ask you i need to convert below query in form of map so the map what i have to do is map of id comma your id i want to use account id i want to send to the list of map of account comma contact new So in the interview, they will ask you. I want to convert this map like this. Okay. So what we can do is first we have to iterate a one by one record. I want to convert this list into the which format? This format. That is the interview question they will ask you. To achieve this functionality, what we have to do? First, to go one by one record. Contact con list of cons. Right, ma'am. So you will get a one by one record here. Okay. So here, what we can do is, I'll use a map here. Like if map contains okay, con dot account ID contains key. Okay, map of a, map contains this account ID, this key. So, what is the meaning of that one? So, already that account ID is exist here. So, if account ID is exist, means automatically we get a contact also, right? That is the one thing. If not contains, I what I have to do? Okay, I'll give one example. Okay, I have five contacts. Okay, Vara. Shiva, what is it? How many contacts I have? Five contacts. Very important. Vara, Shiva, Venki, and Sunika. Divya, okay, madam. How many contacts I have? For example, just assume we have five five contacts in this list. Just assume, okay. So Vara is belongs to IBM. Shiva is belongs to TCS. So Venki is belongs to IBM. And Sunil Kanth belongs to IBM. Divya belongs to This is right, madam. So, how many contacts we have here total? Example, five, five contacts. Once so, once you iterate contact, first which contact will come? Vara. Vara. So, Vara is exist the map already? No. No. This is a first first contact, right? So, this key is not exist in the map. By default, first record is having. If map contains this Vara. Okay. This map contains IBM. No, this is the first record, right? Not okay. contains. So, in this not contains means where it will go? It will go to the else condition. Once it is going else condition, what I will do is I'll create a new list. List of contact. List of this is new contacts. Okay. New list of what I can do? Okay. 
okay so this is a this is for this if is for existing accounts if already account is existing you can use this if else we can use if completely new account means that key is not exist so list of contact list of new contacts equal to what i can do i'll add that contact here this contact first contact first contact vara is coming here so vara is there here i'll put on map put what is the key here ibm for example ibm right on that account id so vara is i'm adding ibm first is the key so ibm belongs to which contact list of name why i am taking list here date like i can add a contact here right date like i can add con here but one one account id we are getting so many contacts right not like that madam so my app it's key, a list we are accepting there this is a key what is the value we are expecting list list so if you put directly contact con is not a list it's a object con is a single record right single record so that's why what i am doing is just for even one record also i am taking list adding that record into the list putting that list in the clear madam what is now there who is the second person Yes. So Shiva will come here. So Shiva is exist. Shiva account is exist. All the pieces is there mm -hmm. in the map. No, no. Then where it will go? It will come Shiva also. Con. So again, what will happen? Pieces is the key. Shiva will also add into the list. Okay. We start now. Thank you. So Venki will come here. So this map contains key. True. IBM. True. Yes. So IBM is there already? Yes, IBM yes. is there. Yes. So for that IBM, any contacts is there? No. No. Vara is there. IBM Vara is there. Vara is there. Vara. So, so yeah. IBM is there in the map. So for that map, IBM, who is the employee? Previous employee? Vara. Vara. How will I will get Vara now? How will get Vara? Get key map dot get key. list of. Contact the existing cons, existing contacts. How we can get that one? Map of get what one? I'll pass IBM. Yeah, I'm passing IBM here. Okay, I'm passing IBM. For IBM, is there any records? Yes, one record is there. Who is that person? Wow. You know existing records. Now who is coming? New person again. For IBM, Venki. Venki is coming. Venki. How we can add Venki to the existing IBM? Existing cons uh, dot add. Dot add. Who is another person now here? Con. 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 Who is here? Con. Con. Venki. Right. This person is Venki. So now you are getting new list again. Vara with the Venki. Now what you have to do? You have to update map again. Map of again same IBM with the latest. Clear, ma'am. Yes. Everyone is following what I am saying. So you are getting. You can put that map outside the for loop also, right? No, no, ma'am. If you put outside the for loop, why why it will work? Complete. The last record will uh, update. Hmm. Last record will come if you put for loop also. Okay. We need to add update map for every record, right? Yes. That's why you have to not update for every record if we put outside. Or the follow. Okay, madam. So now Wengi is come. Then who is coming again? Anshunika. Anshunika. Anshunika key. What is the key? IBM. So IBM is exist. Yes. So if exist, I want to know who is the previous employees. How we can get? Get. Con dot IBM. I am passing IBM. Who is the previous employee here? Who is existing yes. person? Vara. Vara. Venki. Vara Venki is there here. Who is adding again new person? Here we are adding new person again. For existing contacts, we are adding new person. Who is new person here? Ansunika. Ansunika. 
So now list is having three contacts. So again, update the map with the same key. How many, how many lists now? How many list of contacts do you have? Three, three, three. contacts. Who is the last so, person? <coughs> Who is the last? Divya. Divya. Divya is existing already. That key is existing already. TCS. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, TCS, how many contacts are there previously? One. One. So here Divya will come. But Divya, again, what we have to do? Sorry. No. Shiva will come here. For Shiva, what we have to do? Again, add a Divya. Then update the map. Like this, we have to recommend. Clear, everyone? Sir, here it is not mandatory to get. Uh... If, okay, if you are not getting, okay, yes. just assume if you are not getting. Huh? So if I put directly on that ID, this contact, what will happen? Only no, new no. contact. Here it will not accept. In that case, we can write the list outside of the for loop also, new list. Which for loop? Which list? No, yeah, this one, existing contacts. We can, rec we can uh, just, um, declare that uh, object. Outside the class hall, outside the for loop also, right, sir? How we can declare it? For example, if you put a here, outside uh, this one. Mm. Okay. So what will happen? New contact is created. Okay. Uh, for every... this. Mm. So what will happen, madam, is for this is outside the for loop, right? So what will happen is Every time previously whoever is there, it will not all those things again. It will add new also. So in, in this case, what will happen is all five contacts will come under same place, one account only. Yes, for me that. Happens. Okay, at same place. Okay. Yes. Mm. So I don't want that one. So we have to separate existing contacts. I want to get for the IBM. Whoever is the IBM employee, add one more IBM employee. Put in the map. If I come key is not exist, what will happen? IBM is not exist, it will go there to the else, else condition. New. Put IBM, comma, who is a new employee? Suara. Add a Vara to the list. Even you can put like this also, madam. But why I'm putting is for understanding purpose, I'm adding like that. You can put that new list of contacts here. That you can add a single line also. But uh, if I put that one, it's not uh, easy uh, understanding purpose, right? For understanding purpose, I'm writing like this. So this is very important. Practice everyone. Uh, what I did is uh, here inside, if uh, you are creating this, right? Yes, madam. This is a per new list. This uh, is the existing oh, list. Inside list, yeah. Inside if so. existing list. Uh, here you have taken map.get ID. Map.get uh, ID from map, right? Correct, madam. So directly here I added after this method, I put dot add of this contact okay of creating list and these adding to list directly i i used add method here yeah madam map account the contacts dot get id dot add of contact that is, yeah that is also you can put directly that is yeah, also after okay. some searchings i got those i got mm -hmm. that line from google mm -hmm. i added so, we can everything merge into the one line, madam. But for understanding purpose, I'm creating separate list, getting uh, in that adding. case. I didn't add, uh, I didn't use this method uh, map dot put uh, inside the if. Okay, okay, madam. Just follow this one. This is uh, like a very easy uh, okay, understanding purpose. I'm writing, yeah. 